I've just been born on YouTube. Yep, it's me, Zandy Brew. You might have seen me around a few years ago, but I'm here. I'm actually here in my cellar where I'm after a, a flood underneath with something happening a few years ago. Yeah, a few years ago. When I first started to uh, think about having my own brewery down here. I've got too many complaints from the other half upstairs, so moving it down here was So, uh, after doing that, uh, a lot of wood got rotten. So, this base, really kit, I'll give you a, a scoot round it. Not much to look at, but I'll give you a scoot round it. It's all decked out with wooden cladding, uh, floorboards on joists. It's got a suspended ceiling, as you can see here. So, fixed all that. But, a few years ago, I got into beekeeping. So, Brewing took a hit in favour of my bees, unfortunately, but I'm back on track and I'm back on with the build. There's not much space here. Um, I've been doing some wood worm treatment down here on the cupboard in here. So I've got to flip it over, do another couple of coats on there. Um, I've got to finish this bit off. This is the bit where my sinks are going to go. Um, I'm getting a, a double um, sink in there with nice deep pots. Uh, with a nice little spray thing. Uh, that's going there, so I'm going to tie all this bit, that's why this bit's left out, but also it's quite a complicated area as I need to put a ventilation system into there um, and put a waste pipe through here and as you can see I'm quite a chunky fellow and outside, of course I'm in a terrace house, the, wind, the, the gap to get in that wide I'm not going to get it on that. Maybe it's actually maybe that wide. I'm not going to get in that. So I need to find a skinny, skinny volunteer who wants to get muckied up in a drainage place to work out where I'm going to put that hole. Because uh, that is the easiest bit um, to work out. That's more confusing because that's me water in pipe. Um, as you can see, it's wooden cladded. I inherited this. So I when we had a flood earlier, I think a few years ago, when we had a flood a few years ago, um, I replaced everything. Um, I only took out the panels that were rotten um, from, from the flood. Um, so part of it's still the old stuff and part of it has been panelled. This bit here is a new section. Um, and um, what else? Well, there's a bit in the corner, but you won't be able to see that. The corner bit is when I show you a, a scout round, little round, it's the bit with the junk in it, right? So you'll remember that for later. So yeah, so my things are in here. So this, this is going to be my wet area um, with here. Um, this bit over here is going to be some kind of storage area. I don't know how that's going to work out. As I say, it's going to be a work in progress, really. Um, this bit over here, and I'll say that it's going to be, I'll do a voiceover, it's going to be my fermentation area. So everything's going to ferment here. And I'm looking at the top of putting up here, doing my yeast. I'm going to put my yeast up there for yeast starters. Um, the corner, which is full of junk, is hopefully going to have my fridges, which is one's going to be a, um, a fermentation chamber for lager, and the other one's going to be my refrigerator. Um, so I can pour out my beer, but I don't know height-wise how that's going to work out. Now, um, over here is where the brewery system is going to be. Now, I could have gone for like a Robo Brew, a Grainfather, or what's the other clothes about? There's an Angel Brew one, and some sort of model. Um, and, but the thing is, I like to brew um, about 75 litres at a time, because once you get sanitised up, you just might as well um, just go with the flow and just keep on going. So that's where I'm at. Now, um, for, fl for flow rate, I thought it was much better than buying two units was to go for the 100 pot um, Herm system. So that's where I'm going to go. I'm going to put the Herm system over there with my three pots. The ventilation at the moment is giving me a headache, which should go over there, but um, I've been working on that and I might tell you something about that previously because I'm shooting this out of order. Um, so that's going over there and behind you, which you can't really see, is going to be another storage area together with the cupboard. I'm going to show you the cupboard at a later date once I'm not offending a certain utility company. 
Uh, and what else can I say? That's about it. I've got to sort out um, this lighting here, which you can just see. It's currently fluorescent tubing, but I'm going to put the daylight LED tiles in here. So I'm going to do about six and then put the vinyl tiles up here. So easy wipe. Um, and that's it. It's um, now I'm back on with my brewery build. I've not brewed um, for a few years now. I was an extract brewer and I've moved on to all grain brewing. So I wanted to convert my cellar, which because I gave up beekeeping, because I think because I took up beekeeping and gave up brewing for a little while. Uh, it's been a few years, but I'm back on track. And so today I've just been spraying up some wood. As you can see, there's a little bit of wood down here. I've been spraying that with the old woodworm treatment. Um, here we go, let's show you what I've been doing. Been using that uh, in here. Now you may be wondering, this is the food environment. And I was a little bit concerned with using woodworm treatment in that. But I'm gonna varnish this to seal it in. Um, I'm hoping to get 10 years, 15 years use out of this before it starts rotting away was a few years ago there's a massive flood down here got my next door neighbor going you are flooding me cellar I go it's not me well it turns out we met that um, this is my uh, sink upstairs because I'm in the cellar and the kitchen sink is directly up there this pipe goes through a void and because this pipe was lead it was, it was, it's a terrace house, it's over 100 years old. A lead piping, I think I've got a pick somewhere, I'll show you a pick. That, that much gap in between it. So it ended up, I don't know for how many years, flooding this up and literally there's scum marks up here. Yeah. And, and you know what water does? Water will eventually find its own route and channel and make things up. Started flooding into next door. So he come round saying, Oh, you're flooding me cellar. And I went, no, I'm not. But luckily, whilst I was still ignorant to what happened, I took out some insurance and let events unfold itself. It was the best nine pound I've ever spent. So considering <laughs> what happened afterwards, but I didn't know the full extent. So anyway, so once that's got sorted, I might dig out some pictures later. Uh, I do have some pictures of what happened. It was, I won't say bad, it just it looked, it looked worse than what it was. But uh, we was just all down here where everything was leaking. The dehumid, dehumidifier was virtually on every, all year, um, drying it out because we didn't know it was happening. But I always wondered, because uh, by which point I was only living here for a few years, I always wondered where the sink waste pipe went. I learnt where it went that day. So, uh, lessons learned, lessons gained, and the pipe changed to plastic. Good old plastic, isn't it? Um, so that's going through and running out um, into the um, drain outside the house. So, it's a little bit of a history, a bit waffling a little bit now, but. Uh, what more can I say? I think I've done enough. I think I've got my five minutes here, so I'll uh, let this end and you can scoot on to uh, something else. Probably more interesting. But anyway, thank, thank you for watching. Um, and if you want to leave any comments down below, feel free. I've got to give a big thank you to Harry Brew 69 You got me into this mess, buddy. Your videos have inspired me that much after watching you doing your brewery build that I'm thinking, should I do mine? So I'm in that bit of a quandary. I thought, do I record my bill? So I thought I might leave it to people who, the three people I might get looking at this post. <laughs> Opinion, so if you can give me an OP, put it in the comments below. But I'm here and Harry Boo 69 you're to blame, buddy. People can come to your page and tell you, what the hell have you done? Buying people, you can't do that. So this is the uh, cellar, um, as you've seen, there's a little scoop round it. As I said, it's 10 by 12 foot. Um, this is uh, the work done before I move on to the brewery build, just finishing off the cellar. And this is where the sink units are. Um, just there is where I'm putting some more storage 
um, stuff so that's yet to be worked out um, the fermentation chamber in the middle there and over there some that back wall is in the storage area that's where I'm hopefully want to fit my um, fridges and my geezer, geezer uh, to serve me beer this is enough room and it looks like I'm done goodbye and I'll see you next time